A federal jury in Pennsylvania is deciding whether the gunman who killed 11 people at a Pittsburgh synagogue in 2018 will be put to death. Federal prosecutors argued Robert Bowers should receive the death penalty. His defense team urged jurors to opt for a life sentence instead. In June, Bowers was convicted of 63 criminal counts relating to the shooting at the Tree of Life synagogue. This is the deadliest anti-Semitic attack in American history. CBS News Pittsburgh investigative reporter Andy Sheehan joins us now. Andy, the jury this morning returned to the courtroom to take a look at the guns that were used in the attack. What do you make of that? Uh, hard to say. They uh, were in deliberations starting at 9.30 this morning. About an hour into their deliberations, they asked the, the judge a question. Uh, could they look at the, the weapons that Bowers employed at the synagogue? That would be an AR-15 and three Glock handguns. The judge ag agreed to this. The jury came out. They pr pr processed uh, before them in the courtroom and now have returned to the jury room to continue their uh, deliberations. Have we heard any victim impact statements, any statements from uh, the injured or the families of the victims during sentencing? This trial has gone on for two months, and uh, it has never been about the guilt or innocence of Robert Bowers. You know, the death penalty is reserved for the worst of the worst of crimes, and the, and the massacre at the synagogue uh, would easily qualify. What the court has talked about uh, back and forth, especially during this sentencing phase, is the mental health of Robert Bowers. The defense has said that he is schizophrenic and was driven by schizophrenic delusions when he murdered 11 innocent people, shot five others, including uh, three police officers. And the defense or the prosecution has said that he is merely a white supremacist who was, who was driven by hate, anti-Semitic hate that he learned on the Internet and the delusions, you know, would be generated from within a person's mind. He merely latched on to these hate theories, just like other white supremacists. So they are seeking the death penalty here. They are saying that Robert Bowers was a fully functioning, intelligent man who planned and executed this attack. And in the course of that, they have talked to the, her testimony from all the family members of these 11 victims. Very emotional testimony about the, the grave loss that they've suffered and the way that these innocent people died. Is there a next step? Uh either way, whether uh, he is sentenced to life or death? What would be what Well, would most be certainly there will be a, an appeal either way. Uh, the death sentence, um, if it comes down, uh, there's not an automatic appeal. But already today, the, uh, the defense has filed two motions for mistrials that were, mm -hmm. were denied. And this is basically uh, would think setting the table for appeals going forward. Okay, so it, if it is a, a death sentence, we can expect a, a lot more to come in the in the weeks and months ahead. Andy Sheehan, thank you so much.